hi i decided to start coding and this video is taking you through my first time coding if you would like to join me in my adventure learning then come along <laughs> i'm gonna take i don't understand what i don't even understand the question <laughs> okay i'm about to start the course i am six days behind let's not talk about that i joined the course a little bit later so First things first is to download Python. I don't understand this. I'm really bad with computers, by the way, so this should be very interesting to see how this works because I'm telling you, like, I'm really bad with computers. Really bad <laughs> with computers. Download the graphical Mac. Okay, so my software is still in the process of downloading, but while that was downloading, I started reading through some of the instructions. And as of now, it seems very similar to something that I did in undergrad when I was running statistics. I used a software called R for statistics, and it was very similar to coding because you had to type in specific commands. I don't even know how to explain it because honestly, like it was a while ago, but from what I'm understanding, it's very similar to that where you input a command and you get something outputted. I am completely new to coding, so this is by no means the appropriate lingo. The time requirement is 15 hours a week. They do have a job as well as a summer immersion. I know, I don't know what I'm doing to myself. We'll talk about that in another video where I discuss my quarter life crisis, but for now, this is about coding. The exams take three to four hours uninterrupted. And you have eight hours to begin. So it's like an all day endeavor. That's nice. Ready? Here is my first video from MIT. How exciting. We're gonna do two times speed because that's just who I am. Welcome to 600 part one. There's no way that's two times We're speed. We're delighted you're going to take away. There we go. What is it you'd like you have in your organizatorium with all the solutions? Okay, first lecture is done. I enjoyed that. I think it was very stimulating. Definitely provoked thought. Um, there's a lot of like discussion posts after everything, and I think they're honestly like People are saying like, intro, interesting, let's do it together, can't look forward, can't, can't I can't read these, I don't care. <laughs> With that better guess, can change, it's really not close enough, I take X to body by- My issue is when people speak in theoreticals, it's very difficult for me to understand what they're saying, and I feel like my brain makes it more complicated than it needs to be. We're on question exercise number one, and I don't know how to answer these. What is the difference between an algorithm and a program? Did we learn this? <laughs> True. All right, my very first exercise for coding. Let's submit. Three out of four. It's 11 p.m. on night number one, and I still can't get the software to download. I'm feeling very tech illiterate at the moment. <laughs> it's like the fourth day of coding, and I finally got the application to work. Coding update. I am very behind. I'm feeling very overwhelmed. I don't know why I thought that this would be feasible with a full-time job and school. And I'm like the director of this volunteer organization. So I have volunteering events that I have to go to and coordinate and meetings that I have to do for that. And I'm also in a research project. So like, I don't know what made me think that this would be a good idea, but our first assignment is due tomorrow and I still haven't started it. I still haven't even finished watching like all the videos. And I feel like even when I watch the videos, they're not helping. And I got really frustrated because, so I convinced two of my friends to do this class with me, which I'm so happy that they're doing that. But at the same time, they don't watch the videos and they understand and like they are able to do their stuff. And I'm like, how? So I just feel like incompetent. Like I'm feeling not good, but I'm going to finish these two videos and try to work on the assignment i think my biggest issue with coding right now is like it just doesn't make sense to me like i don't know when i need to define a variable and when i don't it's just not clicking like there's no logic that i can understand please help if you're a coder leave comments please teach me it's roughly five hours later i am still working on problem number one it's 11 p.m i don't remember when i started this but i think it was somewhere around five I finally submitted my first problem and it ran correctly. <sighs> I'm gonna cry right now. It took me so long and it's something so simple. So like, I'm just feeling defeated because I know it shouldn't have taken me this long. So I'm like, what is happening? But tomorrow is a new day and I'm gonna try problem number two tomorrow. And hopefully it won't take five hours. 
This is definitely where I'm going to end this first coding vlog. It has been, I think, exactly one week since I registered, and it has been the hardest week of my life. Um, I'm very bad at coding. I don't know why I expected to pick it up super quickly and just be a pro. That was not the case. I've needed a lot of help, and I'm very bad at it, and it's very frustrating, and I just wish I could understand. But hopefully I will make another video updating you guys on my progress, and hopefully I'm much better at coding by then. I submitted my first problem set, and it took me days. Like, I worked on it for hours, for multiple days, and I finally got it. I love that they also said you're only supposed to spend about an hour on each problem. I spent over 19 hours on one problem. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you guys next time.